Hey everyone! Today I will be doing an unboxing video introducing the first ever Flexible Cam Pick. As you may already know, FlexCam Pick was awarded the 2016 CES Innovation Award in Digital Imaging. So let's check out what the buzz is all about. So this is what the delivered package looks like, a very simple and minimalistic paper box. Now I'm going to break the seal sticker stating the main specs of the device and open it. Okay, and it looks like, oh, you have to pull it out. Oh, it's the bottom, okay. All right, so the pick is held in safely and there's something else sticking out next to pick. And I'm going to take each item out, but first of all, let's take a look at the pick case. So when I pull out, the pick case. It looks like a little spacecraft. Oh, it's so cute. Pick has landed on Earth. I think it's a fun, creative idea. Awesome. Okay, so in order to take pick out, you have to first peel off two seal stickers, um, one that holds the case and the lid together, and another one with the main specs of the device along the side. So. I'm going to go ahead and take the peel off label first. And you can see that there's a little crack and I'm guessing, oh, okay. Yes, it opens up. So I'm guessing that it opens up sideways, but first we have to take the lid off. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pick me up. Let's go sticker off. Yeah, you got to, use your nails a little bit. I see. Okay, so now that the label seal stickers are both off, I can twist the cap off and okay, it comes off. Ta-da! And yeah, so if you see here now, um, the pick is being hold, held very, very securely. Um, doesn't fall out. And let's give it a good twist to the right. And yes, it opens up. Okay, cool. Um, after you take the lid off, um, you can get a feel of the top and the what it looks like is the bottom of the pick. And it feels very smooth and not slippery and has a very nice texture. Okay. Also, um, the pick is fixed into the container. So that's a nice safety issue. Um, okay, so um, after taking the lid off, now um, we can open up and take pick out in all its glory. And if you look inside the case, there are three different other components. First is the manual. And next to it, there's the USB cable to connect PIC to your computer. And then there's a small plastic bag containing three different colored caps. And these caps, I believe, are for your PIC head. So you could dress it up in every different co any different color you want. And I guess they give you an additional um, white one. The one that I got was, the pick I got is the basic model of pick in the pure white color. And I'm guessing they give you a additional one just in case. So yes, so those are the comp components inside the case. And remember the inside the box, there was something dangling inside um, next to the pick case. And if you pull it out, it's a small pyramid shaped box. Um, looks like a little bag and it has Frank and friends and we have different characters on the case. So if you open it, oops, here you see the different character heads, Bob, Joe, and Jack. Cool. 
So we'll take a look at these a little bit later. And it's this is so much fun. I mean, we have different character heads and you can dress your pickup and transform it into any character, any day. Um, yeah. Um, supposedly, these character heads are provided only for the people who purchase pick within the pre-order period. And it's a nice little bonus, so thank you for that. And the um, manual, if we look at the manual here, okay, this manual, it comes in a nicely packaged, looks kind of apple-y. There are three different booklets. Um, the big white booklet looks like your ordinary instruction manual in different languages. Um, I'm curious as to see what these are. The purple booklet, if you open it up, it shows you how to connect your PIC to the computer and it shows you the different components of PIC. So that's good for reference. And the pink booklet, ooh, it has fun little diagrams. Um, these diagrams, they show you good and bad examples of the usage of PIC, and they explain it really clearly here, so that's good to know. Very good to have. Um, overall, the boxing, the packaging was really simple, cute, and creative, and easy to open, and not to mention super, super fun. When I first came across PIC, I really liked the troll doll character Frank with the tuft of hair. As you can see, PIC comes in a number of styles, including character models like Frank and the very basic model like the pure white model I have here. I plan on buying the Frank model soon, once it's released. So, the PIC here, you can see, is extremely flexible. It's very smooth and easy to bend in any direction, form, or shape that you desire. PIC has a very different look from the more traditional boxy designs of the Polaroid Cube and GoPro cams. It definitely stands out as a fun, flexible camera with personality that also can be used in outdoorsy, adventure settings. And here on the head, or the face, is the lens, which resembles an eye. And if you come all the way down to the bottom, there's the handle. The battery and SD card are built inside. This button is the power on-off button as well as the shutter button. It's easy to grip and not too thick, so I can wrap my hand around it and hold it steadily. If I hold it up and extend my arm, it becomes the classic selfie stick. However, as you all know, PIC isn't just your average selfie stick with a cute face. You can twist it around and use it when you're on the move as well. I'm going to try wearing it around my arm. Now, I had my reservations as to whether it would stay put. And when I twist it around my arm, it seems to stay put very, very well. You can also bend it so it looks like a snake and put it on a flat surface, and it stands up very sturdily. I'm really looking forward to testing it later around my ankles when I'm on my longboard. I'm sure I'll be able to make a fun video. If you hold this button down for three seconds, it turns pick on. You'll hear a few beeps and a light turns on at the bottom. The single LED provides a nice light output that is easy on the eyes. The boot time is only one second, which is pretty fantastic. If the light turns on, it means the power is on and you're ready to take pictures or videos. If you press this button once, you take photos. If you press the button qu twice quickly, you take videos. So let me try taking a picture. When you click on the button, you hear a sound and that means the photo has been taken. Pretty standard. Now let's try the video. When you press the button twice quickly, you hear a sound. This sound is probably notifying that a video is being recorded. You can also see a light blinking below the lens that notifies you that a video is being shot. When you're done shooting the video, you press the button down once. That ends the video. Holding down the button for three seconds will then turn pick off. 
If you wish to reset PIC, hold the button down for 10 seconds. And that's it. It's simple and easy to use, all with just a click or a few clicks of a button. Okay, now I'm going to transform my PIC with different character heads. So first, I just take off the head of my original PIC, although that sounds really wrong, um, taking the head off. So maybe I should say character cap. Um, first, I'm gonna try the pink character head. It's not really much of a character, but it does add personality to the pic. Very cute. Um, all of these masks have a Pixar-esque character design. This alien-looking alien one with three eyes is called Bob. Then we have the gray cap, which turns pic into the character Paul. Then the blue-horned Jack. Okay, let's try putting on Bob. You kind of have to use your nails to do this. And it's on. Bob, that's really cute. I really like the character designs. It's a fun idea to be able to change and dress it up, which is a feature most cameras don't have. And it's nice to be able to play around with it like it's a toy. Okay, now I'm going to download the PIC application. The app gives you access to real-time mobile streaming and allows you to simultaneously see what your camera is shooting. You just have to go to your App Store or Google Play and type in P-I-C-F-L-E-X, and it should pop up here. If you click on that, you'll see Pick Flexible Life Cam and lots of screenshots, and information. We're at version 1.04. And if you click on download, oh, the character Frank is the app icon. It almost looks like a children's game app. All right, now that the app is downloaded, let's use it. When you click on it, it says to connect to Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to settings, turn on the Bluetooth, go back to the PIC app, click on connect to PIC. Ooh, look at that. The PIC turned on automatically. Okay. And it says to connect to the PIC Wi-Fi. So PIC 5568BE. And then I'm gonna go back to pick now that the Wi-Fi is connected. Almost done, are you ready? I am ready. All right, now we're in. Wow, the app was very simple, easy to use and convenient. Okay, so if you navigate around the app and go to the menu, you see there's storage, which is the storage that I'm using and that is available within my pick. And this is the Bluetooth password so that nobody can connect to your pick. And this firmware is obviously shows you the version that you're using. And if there are updates, then you can click on update. And this reset pick settings is the same thing as holding down the pick button for 10 seconds. And you can also disconnect pick here. And you can also edit the name of your pick. Here you can see at the top bar, there's the charging button. And if you go to resolution, you can change the resolution of your photos. And there's also an auto power off time, meaning you can set how many minutes you would like for pick to turn off after you've left it alone. So now I'm going to use the camera and we're gonna use the app to take pictures and videos. Right now it's on photo mode. And if you drag it, it changes to the video mode. This screen looks like the camera app on your phone. So it's really comfortable to use. 
There are also slow motion and time-lapse photo operating modes. First, I'm going to take a photo. So just like on the regular camera app on your phone, you can see the thumbnail of the photo I just took. Let's test out some of the other buttons. This button here is the timer button. You can use this for group photos after you've adjusted a pic somewhere. Okay, let's try the video. If you press the red button, then you'll hear beeping from the pic and you know that you're filming. You can also turn the camera to landscape view, and you'll see that you get a wider view of what it pick is filming. Awesome. Let's go back and see the video that I just shot. Okay, let's go back and see the video that I just shot. This is the preview page. This is where I can see the photos and videos I just took. This is the video that I just recently took. And if you click on play, it says you need to download it. And yes, you can save it on your phone. At the top, you can see gallery, which will contain all of your photos and videos. And at the bottom, you see save, share, and delete. Again, it's very simple and easy to maneuver around. And it's also pretty much like your gallery or photo album in your phone. So if you see here, it's divided up into different groups. So it's very easy to organize. And if you go to the video, this is a video I took earlier. Cool. All right, so now that we've looked at the map, I'm going to connect PIC to my computer. You can charge PIC by using the micro USB charging cable to connect PIC to your computer. While charging, you'll see the light blinking on PIC. It's to notify users that it is being charged. You can also charge using a regular USB power adapter. Once you connect PIC to your computer, those who use the photo app to back up your photos will see that it'll pop up automatically. You can also see PIC recognized as a USB device. So it's very user friendly. If you go to the DCIM folder, then you can see the picture and the video I recently took. So I'm going to drag them out to my desktop and show you what the photo and video looks like. Beautiful. It works great. So that pretty much wraps up this unboxing video. So far, I really like the design, the usability, and the application. I would give this a two thumbs up. It definitely stands out from all the prevalent selfie sticks and cams. You can record videos and capture stills in so many different positions and situations without a camera mount, which is what PIC is most well known for. And I have to hand it to the creators that they made a functional camera that is really cute and fun. Even though taking pictures or videos is not a new concept, I'm really looking forward to testing it out in different environments and playing around on the camera. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.